This is my 7 inch Alpha Monster quadcopter. I've been flying it for about a month now, or a little bit of a month. I got about at least 30 batteries on it. And in my opinion, this is the best 7 inch frame you can get in the market. First of all, it's only gonna cost you about $35 to get this frame from Banggood and I think other guys selling it for about $25. So the price, it's pretty cheap compared to other 7 inch frame. And second, he does have those very thick arms. They're about six and a half to seven inch, depending on which instrument you use. And with those arms being so thick, you don't have any vibration when you're flying. Your image is very stable. There is no wobble in your image. There is no oscillation or anything. You don't need to even you don't need to soft mount your motor. As you can see, they are not soft mounted, and it fly wonderful. I mean, that's one of my favorite fly, flyer. I do have an Emax Oak 5, but believe it or not, I believe this is fly even better than the Emax Oak 5. It's very stable. I mean, it's a cruiser, and like I say, I think that's the best 7 inch frame on the market. Now, one thing you gotta take in consideration if you're planning on gaining this frame is that when it first come in, it does have those 30 millimeter stand and you can see I'm not using them I got some longer stand out of Amazon those are actually 45 you can get away I think with 40s if you want to and the reason I got this longer stand is just because I was planning on using a foreign one stack ESC this one didn't give me enough space to get my 41 in there. But with those extra long stand, you can see I got plenty of space in there. I got my ES in the bottom, I got my flight controller, I got my VTX on top. So that actually work much better than those small stand. Now if you plan on keeping it and uh, using the smaller standoff, my best guess is going to be you're going to need to use individual ESCs on each arm. Now, what I got in here, you can see I had with my satellites. I'm using some 1700 kV motor. I think they made by King Kong. Pretty good motor. I got no issues with them. And I'll fly it both on 4, 5, and 6S. What I got here had a 6 inch pop. Those are the one I use for the 5S. And according to the manufacturer of the motor, if you're planning on using 7 inch pop, they recommend you to use it on 4S and 5 inch pop, they recommend you to use it for 5S. And I got a RM9 Slim Plus on it with vertical antenna and I get about two kilometers easy. I believe I can go longer than that, but I think two kilometers for me, it's enough. Uh, flight time on average, I get about eight to nine minutes on it. Now on uh, one of my 4S, which is a 2200 milliamp hour, I can actually get it always to 11 hour, 11 minutes if I really push it. And the battery come back at about 3.665. So, I had it for a month. And guys, I'm loving it. If you think about getting it, I say go ahead and get it. You just gotta make sure which ESC you wanna use. If you wanna use the four-in-one ESC, you're gonna need to use some longer stand. If you're planning on using individual ESCs on each arm, those will be perfect for you. Just use a regular stand you get provided with the frame. Another thing I also did, 
is that I got some I had to print some 3D holder for my camera. If you don't have a 3D printer at home, just when you bang this frame, I'm going to get you some holder for the camera because the one that came with the kit are just worthless. I mean, you look at them the wrong way, they just break. And you can see those are, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, they are much beefier. So, I mean, let me know if you got any questions, I'll be glad to answer them, but let like I say, in my opinion, this is the best frame you can get, the best 7 frame, inch frame you can get on the market, for both for price. You won't get any vibration, you won't get any wobble on your video, and definitely, I'll take this one over any other frame. Thank you guys.